When the space shuttle lands tomorrow at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the vehicles that inspired us for a generation will be retired. But there are a handful of private aerospace companies right in our backyard that are picking up where NASA left off. KTLA's Dave Malkoff has more from Mojave. Off the final liftoff of Atlanta. After 135 missions, 30 years of the space shuttle program is ending. Here in Mojave, California, a new space race has been underway for years. My name is Lee Valentine. I'm a director of XCOR Aerospace in Mojave, California. XCOR, Maston Space Systems, Scale Composites, who build the Virgin Galactic ship, and others are all here competing against each other. Government domination of space transportation is coming to an end. These private companies, not NASA, will now be the gateway to space. XCOR believes they have built the most powerful and efficient rocket engine in the world. For the Lynx spacecraft. In a few years, it will rocket the space tourists aboard 64 miles above the Earth. They'll see the curve, they'll see the black sky above and the blue sky below. Right now, tickets are $90,000 for a 30-minute experience. We're going to enable a lot of science and exploration. These companies are taking over some NASA contracts and delivering private satellites into orbit as well, with systems that, in some cases, outdo NASA. NASA's. For example, the space shuttle main engines have to be torn down and rebuilt at a cost of $6 million per engine uh, every other flight. Space shuttle spreads its wings one final time. XCOR's engine can turn around less than 10 minutes after landing. These next generation engines are designed to be much safer than the space shuttle program. Look at this. This is the engine right here. The whole thing is contained in this apparatus right here. This is the blast shield made of a composite material that fits right over that engine. Even if this engine were to explode mid-flight, it would all be contained within the blast shield. No one would be hurt in the vehicle behind it. But in all the test flights they've done with this engine, They've never had one accident. In my lifetime, I will be able to be an astronaut. I'll be able to fly into space. It's still risky. People from other Mojave companies have been killed in test flights during this new space race. But here, they're free to innovate without the huge bureaucracy and red tape that tend to hold back huge multinational corporations and superpower governments. So don't cry tears over the space shuttle. Uh, better things are coming. At the Mojave Spaceport, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.